G'day YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Well today we're going to do a little bit of machining. Um, I have a friend with some field marshal tractors and on one of the series twos on the front there is a, a handle which is this, this is a homemade handle and what happens with this handle is it should look something like that and then that screws in this is an adapter in the cylinder head that screws in screws in the front and the idea of it is to aid combustion for starting these are old pommy tractors and um, to aid combustions in starting in the cold weather you, you get a little paper wick and um, you put the wick down in there you light it up and you grab the whole handle and you poke him through the hole there, screw him up with it actually lit and then you get on the crank handle and give him a bit of a bougie and away she goes and the idea of this is that it, it heats the air up inside the combustion chamber so the tractor's easier to start so what's happened is Tim's new mate's name that owns these tractors and the other day he was trying to get this out and it was giving him a little bit of drama in getting it out so he got a bit of pipe on here and gave it a bit of a heave ho well it broke off didn't it but but normally this is made out of cast but someone in the, in the past has made this and see they've made this handle but it looks like they've silver soldered the thread off the old piece onto here and, and it's been a, a pretty crap fix really and then to help it they've welded this inner piece inside the nut and normally this goes through there there's a nut at the end here and if you need to pull this centre piece out or replace it you can but what they've done is they've they've welded this piece to the broken piece of cast thread and then they've silver soldered it on to the end here but in the process of breaking it originally they've actually just got a piece of old bolt mild steel bolt and screwed or welded onto here and ground it down so so the whole thing was gonna fail anyway so um, the, the way they went around doing the job it wasn't very satisfactory but then look in saying that we shouldn't be too hard on them I suppose it, it might have been like that for 20 30 years but so what the plan is today is um, uh, is to make this piece here and make this piece here as two separate pieces once more um, I've made one of these for Tim before that's just a little 45 degree taper and it should be a 90 degree shoulder back here so if you need to take this out and work with it um, you can undo the nut on this end here and you, you can actually pull a smoke holder um, pull a smoke holder out and deal with it if you need to. Um, the last one I did, Tim had broken one of the centre pieces, so we made him one up. But, but this is going to be a bit more of a challenge. So the adapter that goes into the head, um, I haven't measured this, but I've been told it's a BSP thread here. And but the thread, the thread on this piece here, where it screws into the adapter there. That's a three-quarter 12 thread, which makes that BSF. So I haven't got any BSF taps, dies, or any of that sort of thing. I have Whitworth, um, but Whitworth just doesn't work. Um, it's, you know, the, the TPI, the threads per inch, is different in a Whitworth. So also, most of my threading tools are 60 degree, which, um, like UNC, UNF, and metric threads are, are a 60 degree um, point where this will be a 55 so we're going to have to deal with that whether we grind a little tool up or um, whether I go through my stuff and see if I do have a, a 55 degree th um, threading insert or we might just have to grind one up but but look anyway stay tuned um, we'll do a bit of a video um, on the field marshal wick holder and we'll see if we can make a decent well, job. We've had a bit of a look around, we found a bit of steel, but this will um, 
this will be plenty long enough to make the handle out of. Um, we have a little bit up our sleeve there. But um, it's pretty ratty, been sitting in the old scrap heap, but I know a bloke with a new bead blaster, so I reckon we'll go and give this a blast. And um, yeah, we'll just see see if we can bring her up, see what it comes up like. Good to have new toys, here you go. All bead blasted up. You can see the rust pits and that, that are still on it, just the little bits and pieces. But yeah, look, it's all tidied up. And we'll skim all this up and make it all pretty. But um, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to machine stuff. So yeah, we'll give this a run. I've got no idea what quality it is, what it is. It's got something ground at each end, so whether it was a pin for something one time or just what it was, who knows. But anyway, we'll chuck him up in the lathe and dress him off. And I think the first thing I'll do is try and do the um, the 12 by 1 thread, or 12 by 3 quarter, sorry, thread. Um, I haven't done any single point threading for a while. I'm a bit green on it again. Um, but anyway, look, we'll, we'll crank it up. Hey, we'll show you what happens. Stuff ups and all. Okay, first up, I've just got my little homemade indicator holder here. And... We just need to get him centred so we can dress the end off, tidy that up a bit. Um, we'll pop a centre up it to support it and away we go. So get these two fellas at 90, sitting nice across from each other and find a zero. So turn it half a turn. Bring him out a little bit. Half a turn and we got 52 there. So I'll just drop me key. So we've got to take half of that, get rid of half of the 52 there. So we'll wind it back to 26. Twenty-six it is. Take him over to zero again. Two thou. So we just got to bring that to one thou. Half the difference is what we did. Bring that back. So now if we go half a turn on that cross axis, we come to zero. So with this side one, we know where zero is. So if we just crank this one, this other axis, to zero. That's out a little bit still. We'll just bump him back a little. Not that it's that important with this old bit of steel we've got to tidy up, but anyway. There you are. We've got about a thou, maybe two out, but um, we're not going to worry about that with this old bit of stuff here, so. We'll just chuck a couple of tools in and tidy this end up and drill a centre and, yeah, get the job underway. But, yeah, look, that stuff there, I don't know what it is, but, boy, is it hard. But, um, yeah, she fires up pretty well. Nice, um, well, well, not nice, I don't really like it. Um, nice red bits coming off the lathe, so... I better have a little bit of a hunt in the pile and see if I can find a better piece of stuff to use. Well, I found another piece of steel and it was a soft piece, I could actually drop it off in the bandsaw, so I just um, tidied the end up here. I've brought that down to size um, using the old thread as a guide and I actually have an insert that's a 55 degree insert and I've been looking and looking thinking it was a 60 degree and but I set it in all my gauges um, it's got no marking on it actually and I set it in the thread on the old piece there and 
I've held it up to the light and it's just perfect. So look, that's going to do. Um, I'm going to call that 55. Um, there's nothing marked on it, so I don't really know. So all we need to do is make sure that we make sure that we're nice and parallel. Don't know if everyone uses a one, two, three block for that, but anyway. Just lovely. Now we'll muck ass around with the gears. To get 11 thread per inch, um, I'm gonna have to pull the end off the lathe and do a bit of a gear swap, so. We'll just see what we get up to there, um, see what I film and yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, that's our Threads Imperial Pitches and Threads Metric. So we're looking for a 12 TPI. Um, so what we have to look through here, we come along and we have 12 there. So we have the 48 tooth up the top, driving onto the other. We have the C3 on the dials here. On, there's bottom dials down there. And this one comes up to three. So we'll muck around with that. Then we'll check what gears we have. And we'll go from there. We'll get the lathe going as slow as it possibly can. Cause yeah, I'm, um, I don't do this often. So I'm expecting, well, I've left enough meat there to do it twice. <laughs> anyway. I'll get it set up and we'll see how we go. Right, to get 12 threads per inch on the main drive here, um, normally I have it on fairly fine, so I have a, um, a 24 tooth gear up here. So what we have to do is take this 48 tooth gear, um, yeah, 48 tooth, and put it there, drop it all down and adjust the backlash, and we'll do a little bit of a test run. But it's always a little bit of a fiddle, this, I find. Um, it, um, yeah, you always have to... You can't have gears running tight. You also always need a little bit of backlash. And it's probably a little bit much in that top one. So, we'll undo this fella here. Now this other, this other side gear here that we're not using at present, the smaller one, um, that's the one we get into when we're using metric threads. But usually I just run with Imperial because a lot of the old stuff I restore and play with is um, an Imperial thread. So I've got the good grease there and plenty of it. Mum will know about that because I'll probably wipe it on my pants without thinking. Anyway, they make washing machines, don't they? Must be what they make them for, I reckon. Okay, so we'll drop that out of the way. Put the 48 this gear up here, pop the screw in, and nip him up, and we'll put the 24 tooth here, there's a little key there, on both of these, you just got to make sure the key doesn't disappear. The brass hammer I prepared earlier.
nip him up loosen that bowl there off now what we do is just we bring them up and engage them we tighten this fella up a little bit to take up any side movement in this gear here bit of backlash there We have backlash there, that's what we need. There's a little bit there, but I'm... Yeah, look, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll nip these up. And we'll just start the lathe up and give it a run. Oh, it won't let me because we have a micro switch there. to pop the cover on, give it a run. Fancy those people making the lay thinking to do something dangerous. Top fella on. Just let it run for a little bit. The spindle looks to be nice and slow. Pop the cover off. Yep, look, I'm happy with that. Okay. Put the cover back on. Okay, I think we're right to go. We'll um, we'll just start him up and do a bit of a scratch cut and just see, make sure we're on track. I'm just waiting for the number lines up down the bottom here. It's only just I 
I think we'll just do that again. Just to get a little bit more, just so I can see what we're doing. see that on the camera really well. Okay, we'll get our little thread gauge and have a look. Twelve threads per inch. Oh, I can feel that sitting in nicely. Yeah, look, that's good. We'll continue on with this and see if we can make a thread that fits. That's the main thing, eh? As long as it fits. 